beautiful Libras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Let's get straight to your messages. Libra, thank you for taking the time to give the videos a like, to comment, to subscribe, you guys. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Let's see what my equalizers have to say here. Limitation is power. Lean into your limitations. The things that you think are your weaknesses. And move forward. Experience the grace of who you truly are. The dawn of love. Love is rising on the horizon of your life. New love. Transformation. Let love transform you. Self-love. Living a balanced life. There you are. Love seeks your well-being. That's the justice. Spirit wants to see you do well. Keep an open mind. Replace the old cycle with a new and exciting one. Spirit saying, new love on the horizon. Gaia's garden can't get better than that. Fruition, abundance, reaping what you have sown. Someone's obsessed. Someone's obsessed with you. This is someone strategizing. Trying to make someone aggressive toward you. Ooh, Lady of the Lightning. Surprise, sometime shock. A total paradigm shift. So, they're the ones hungry now. This altar priestess who is strategizing against you to, to make someone act aggressive toward you. Shock on their behalf. This is a complete paradigm shift. You have transformed into Gaia's garden. <laughs> Hmm. Could be a group of people, the hungry ghosts. Look. Third party. Stressing out. Why? I don't know. They may have gone to the altar. Just saying. To control this person. To make them turn against you. They could have paid somebody to do this. An altar priestess to do some spell work on you or some kind of magic strategizing at the altar. They may regret doing this. A lot of you are high priestesses. But I think that they went before doing rituals at their altar. That's what I think they did. To make this person turn against you. And they loved you, but they are under some kind of influence. They turned aggressive toward you. Somebody who did some altar work. To make this person act aggressive. Yes, I do. They're stuck.
they 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 did. It's a collaboration, scheming, plotting, and planning. Could have been a friend. Doing things at the altar, like I'm serious. There's an actual altar here. Now, high priestesses also have altars, but I'm not talking about this high priestess. This is the Lady of the Lightning. That is the karmic doing... <sighs> karmic is doing... You are the Lady of the Lightning. You have the truth of the Almighty with you. Complete paradigm shift and shock. You're moving forward. I told you, shock. A complete paradigm shift. So somebody was doing black magic or altar work here to get this person to turn against you or make them aggressive toward you. Yep. That be aggression. But now... It, that's weird. It's a paradigm shift. So whatever they did, you could have done a return to sender, or you could have been doing your own prayers, your own altar work, and sending it back where it came from. Now, complete paradigm shift, this person is turning on the karmic. I didn't realize this was happening. Somebody, their work didn't work. Their work is backfiring. Hmm. It's not affecting you. Is this person under the influence here? Of a magician. Who's trying to control them. This is a manipulation. To get this person to con to reject you. It's doing things under the moon in secret, I'm telling you. They're doing spell work. I don't care what anybody says. Spell work can be words, spell work can be almost anything, but there's an actual altar here. There's an actual somebody doing rituals at an altar. To the bad dude. They're under judgment. Comes around, goes around. You, you're... This person could be returning from the past to come toward you. You're standing up for yourself. They might... Complete paradigm shift. Jeez. What it comes around goes around is here. Somebody is reaping what they have sown. If they were doing spell work against you, money spells, love spells, trying to get someone to turn against you, it's backfiring. They are heavily burdened. They are unstable. Their money is unstable.
they jumped right into a trap. This could be returned to sender. It's backfiring. With the wheel and the ten of swords with the world, yeah, it's backfiring. You are prospering. Complete paradigm shift. You reap what you sow. She cannot do this to a healer. This is let love transform you. You could be getting a new love in your life. Ten of, pen of, ten of cups. Oh, jeez. Hmm. There you are, getting karmic justice. They're being hurt. Hmm. You've taken the bull by the horns here. You are a leader. You are stepping up in the world. Highly honored. I don't think you're bothered. You don't look bothered. They tried to steal. But your angels got you protected. Huh. Whoa. Oh my God. He turned their back on the Ten of Pentacles on the sun. Did somebody do death magic? other lover. It's working in reverse. They want to divorce this other lover or cut this other lover out. It's something backfiring. Maybe they paid a, a greedy practitioner or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they, this practitioner knew what they were doing. They paid for one. Or they're doing it themselves. But it's backfiring. It's making this person hate the other lover. It's making this person resent them, hate them. Something weird is going on here. It's backfiring. That's what's going on. It's telling you to keep an open mind. Yeah. 
you're going to have a new and exciting life. Oh my God. So the altar priestess is sitting here doing rituals. They're in scarcity, um, scarcity mindset, the hungry ghosts. What are they conjuring something? Demonic entities? It's backfiring though. This is a complete paradigm shift. So if they were doing spell work to make this person violent or aggressive toward you, if they were doing spell work to make this person hate you, if they were doing spell work to make you in poverty, it's them that are going through poverty. If they did wish death upon you, it may come to them. There is somebody under the influence of a practitioner or a ritual, somebody who does rituals. Your intuition may already be telling you that. Because normally this person is really outgoing, really friendly. But somebody was doing some spell work to make them hate you, turn aggressive toward you, act violent or act weird toward you. I don't know. If it's like spirit is... You reap what you sow. <laughs> you do good works, it comes back to you. You start messing with this other energy that they've been messing with that's coming back to them and if they were doing death stuff well person is not in their right mind they're not in their like I said this person is usually really friendly or outgoing or you know full of laughter or something but it's making them hateful bitter nasty But it's backfiring. It was meant, like I'm not saying this person didn't turn on you. But what I'm saying is, is now it's having the opposite effect. It's make, if you, because you're protected, it's going back to the sender. Someone's going to regret doing this. If it's black magic, they will regret doing it. Take care.